hello guys welcome back again to dummy dimensions channel my name is dummy today i'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute cape top dress kimono i don't know what name you want to give to this one but as you can see it's a really cute piece and it's something you can put on a bodysuit or you know black black white white any color theme you want and this is a really simple project super fast so if you're a beginner this is something you must try <laughs> or if you are an expert as well you can as well do this so we're going to be needing just a yard of fabric for this one and i'm going to be using this uh, fabric right here and you need just about a yard of bias tape as well so that's about it right so in order to get started i have my fabric laid down flat on the table so what you need to take now is your shoulder to shoulder measurement like this mine is 14 inches and i'm going to be taking two inches out of that to have 12 and the reason why i'm taking two inches out is because i don't want this uh, kimono to be as wide as my shoulder so you can take two inches out or you can use one and a half all right so i'm going to be adding two inches back to that because i need that extra two inches for my hemming so again i'm having 14 inches <laughs> all right so now i'm going to be marking that 14 inches all along through the length of my entire fabric like so and once you're done marking you should go ahead and connect it together like this and the next thing to do is to take your length measurement all right so for me i'm going to be stopping at my knee so shoulder to my knee measurement you can make it extend a little bit beyond your knee it's your choice so for me i have 38 inches but i'm adding two inches extra to that one and a half inch is going to be for hemming and the other half inch is just extra you know just to cut nicely all right so just go ahead and cut that out like you can see what i did and then you are going to place what you just cut out on the rest of your fabric so you can cut out the same size the same piece and the first one i cut is going to be for my front the new one i'm going to cut is going to be for the back you could as well fold your fabric into two from the beginning and cut both of them out together at once but i just want to show you exactly what i'm doing so you can understand that's why i went ahead and cut them out separately okay so now that i'm done cutting out the two pieces this is what i have and as you can see they are the same length the same width so go ahead and fold each of them into two separately so fold them in half separately just like you can see what i'm doing and after folding it in half you are going to be placing both of them on top of each other place them on top of each other in a way that you align the folded edge right here is where we have the folded edge okay and this is the part where we have the cut as you can see we have four leaves here and here is the folded edge where it's going to be the center front and the center back so now i'm just ruling a straight horizontal line at 0.5 inch up just to serve as my starting point and right from here from my center front i'm going to be taking my neck width and i'm using 3.5 you can use four inches if you want it to be wider especially if you're bigger and now i'm using my uh, i'm taking my neck depth and i'm using four inches you can use anything between three inches four inches 4.5 it all depends on how wide you want the neckline to be all right so i'm just zooming in to show you again what i'm doing because this fabric has so many colors on it so my neck width 3.5 and i marked my neck depth four inches and i'm connecting that together with a curve you can use whatever shape you want you can use v-neck four corner but i just prefer this round all right let me just remind you that my shoulder measurement was 14 inches right and i took out two inches from that and i had 12 inches so now we are going to be dividing that 12 inches by two and that's because we have our fabric folded into two right so if i divide 12 inches by two i have six so now i'm going to be measuring six out and i'll place a mark and you will realize that i have just about one inch left which is what i've already put into consideration when i was cutting out and that's going to be for my hemming allowance okay so mark out the half of your shoulder inches like so and from that point you're going to be coming down by half inch or 0.75 inch 
this is for the shoulder slope and the reason why we are not coming down as much as one inch is because we already took something out of our shoulder to shoulder measurement so we don't have to come down by a whole one inch all right so now connect that point to your neck width point like so and this is what i have once that is done so basically that's the shape but i'm just going to um separate my hemming allowance so you guys can actually understand the shape so i'm taking that one inch for my hemming allowance all the way down i'm separating it with my shock and i'm also marking one and half inch for the hemming at the down part as well i separated that as well i'm not cutting that out remember i'm just separating it so now i'll need to draw my back neckline and i'm taking one and half inch you can use one and quarter inch whatever you want just do it so from there i'm connecting to my uh, front neck width because the neck width of the front and back has to be the same right so connect using whatever shape you desire next thing is to add half inch joining allowance to the shoulder area so i'm simply placing my half inch shoulder um half inch having allowance at the shoulder and then you can go ahead and cut out the shape and in order to cut out the neckline i'm cutting out the neckline of the back panel first okay so after cutting out the neckline of the back panel then you can take out the back panel and then you can go ahead and cut out the neckline of the front just like you can see what i did so after all that is done this is what i have the front panel has been cut and here is the back panel as well and just to show you what it look like if i open it up this is the front and here is the back so i set that aside and i also cut out my straps and i cut out um the length of 28 inches and the width of three inches and i cut out four pieces of this you can make the length as long as you want and as wide as you want so what you want to do is simply fold them like this right sides facing each other and you stitch this way and stitch this way all along like so by half inch and from here you are going to be pulling it out repeat the same to all four of them all right so i set that aside and it's time to join this kimono all right so place them right sides facing each other and are going to be joining on the shoulder line by the half inch seam allowance that we use after joining this is what i have then you are going to go ahead and hem this part all the way down so you fold it twice and hem you know just like you would normally hem you do that all around this way you also hem your down part as well using the seam allowance that you left you hem it and you hem the side as well and it's time to um pipe in the neckline i'm using this bias tape so what you want to do is to open up that half inch that was ironed down on the bias tape normally and you are going to place it right sides facing the right side of your fabric so i'm starting from the right side and you align it like so and pin it down i'm going to uh, continue doing that all the way around the neckline as you can see okay so once you get back to where you started from then you are going to pick the two ends of the bias together and you are going to join them together like so and then you are going to also attach the bias to your fabric uh, to your project by half inch along that crease line so once that was done this is what i have and next thing to do now is to flip it down making sure that half inch on the bias is sewn is flipped inside and then you are going to be stitching that all around down using regular stitch on your sewing machine and once you're done you will have something that looks like this all right so this is what mine looks like inside and out looking clean i love <laughs> all right and i told you to hem the sides and the down which i've already done as you can see looking so clean i love <laughs> all right so back to the uh, strips i went ahead and joined them together like i said you should and now what i'm going to do is to turn all of them inside out and i'm using just the pencil here to help me do it nicely so repeat that to all four of them and give that a good press once i was done i have this and it's time to attach it to the dress so i'm taking my shoulder to waist measurement and i'm marking so just stick from your shoulder to the tiniest part of your waist and mark it and that's going to be the 
place you are going to be attaching the belt okay so repeat that to all four sides so in order to join them you should place your tape on that point you just marked making sure that the end of the tape does not align with the end of the dress like so so it's moving a little bit backward like so then you stitch like this and then after stitching you flip it over like so and then you stitch again here like this so let me just show you that one more time using the other side because you are repeating the same to all four sides so you place it you stitch you flip it over and you stitch so you repeat the same thing to all four sides and once that is done that's basically it you guys i told you how simple this thing is it's so simple quick and easy and cute at the same time if you style this nicely it's you know it's just amazing Try this out. You can tag me on Instagram at Dami Dimension. Let me see your creation. And I just hope I'm going to see you in my next video. So give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's meet again in my next one.